No, actually on time. Okay. okay. You're live! I think we're actually set up, even though we haven't done this in two years. Yeah. We got it all right, I think. I think it's right. I, I think so. So, it is super delayed from when we're speaking until you're actually seeing it, so I never know if people can hear us, if they can see us. Yeah. I'm always wondering. So if you can hear us and see us, say yes in the comment section, and then we'll proceed to start talking. Yeah, obviously <laughs> we're not professional streamers here. We're no. just doing our best. <laughs> yeah. So we got a new camera set up too. I think the last slide we did, we used our actual camera. Oh, I told I said I was I was gonna stop talking until we knew. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, people are saying hi. You're here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They said yes. Okay. All right. Here it is. All right. That's how delayed it is. Isn't that wild? It's wow. Okay. Oh, there they are. <laughs> there are all the comments. Now it's coming in. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So right. we have a new camera called an Insta360 that we're using instead of our camera. Careful with your hand gestures. Oh yes. Because this camera has mm -hmm. like special AI technology that recognizes your hand gestures and will like change the setting. Mm -hmm. So we just figured it out right before the stream how to turn it off <laughs> yeah. so that it stays in one spot because mm -hmm. Charisma, she's very Handsy. Like, yeah. Put them in the uh, I know. I'm going to sit on my hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she'll, she'll activate the thing where it like tracks your face. So we'll mm -hmm. be in the middle of like a business call. Mm -hmm. She'll active, accidentally use her hands, activate the gesture, and then it just follow, follows her face the whole time. So then I got to do this to be in the camera. I know. We've done that on like business calls with like people and like companies. And I'm like, so sorry. It's following me. <laughs> <laughs> but now we know how to fix it. Yeah, finally. So we're good to go. Yes, good to go. Anyways, wow, I'm actually surprised with the amount of people that are here right now. Wait, there's 481 yeah. people? Yeah. What? My mom just texted me and said, we can hear and see you. Thank you, Mama Cat. <laughs> Thanks, For <mom>. the verification. <laughs> Always helpful. Yes. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow, 544. I'm actually surprised. I was trying oh to gosh. guess how many people, and I told Cole, maybe like 200. 200 people might come hang out. <laughs> we like having friends to hang out with. Yes. Though. So this is our first time. So I'm a so little, uh, a little about what we've had going on. Yes, what we've been up to. We don't have a conventional video this week because, man, the past couple weeks have just been go go go. Mm, Nonstop. Um, a big part of that has been our house search. We've been going out and looking at houses all the time. Yeah. Charisma, by the way, is a hawk on Zillow. <laughs> Zillow. <laughs> She, I, know. I have notifications on and everything. I know. She's gone through all of the inventory mm -hmm. that exists in Los Angeles County, which, by the way, there's like a million homes. Mm -hmm. And she, whenever there's a new one, she's like, here's a new listing. Yeah. Are you ready? I don't think it's going to be good for us. I, I kind of like it, but I don't know if it's going to be good. Yeah. Well, and then Los Angeles County is huge. It's yeah. huge. And I never realized how big this county was until we moved here. And I'm like, I thought Los Angeles was just like Hollywood and downtown, no. but it goes... You know, forever. as far as the 405 and as south as, I don't know, somewhere on the 5. <laughs> I don't that, know where it stops. That was weird. Right when I said forever, I looked at the table and there's a gift card that says forever. That's weird. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, so we're still searching. My brain is like, what happened? I saw a comment that says, where's Sophie? Uh, should we introduce her? She's introduced? They know her. She's sleeping, actually. Sophie. Oh, oh. yeah, Come we here. called you. To she, the she, side. No, go go over here. Come on, cool side. Jump. You say hi. You say, say hello. Hi to everyone. Don't let me know where say she's hi. in the camera yet. We'll see her soon. No, she she's in it because she's near your chest. So Sophie has been a very happy girl. Yes. We had a good friend of ours take care of her while we were gone in, you in Florida, fun. and they That's had a good so time. She sent lots of pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of these trips we don't bring Sophie because. Okay. See you later. Bye. We don't yes. bring her because. <laughs> A lot of times we stay at hotels and we just don't know where the best place, you know, to relieve a service dog is. Yeah. And her food situation, I think, is the hardest part and the hardest reason, the biggest reason we don't bring her because she's super picky and she loves only farmer's dog. Yeah. And, and it's frozen. It's frozen food. So and traveling of, with frozen food is hard. And a lot of places don't have, like, hotels don't have a freezer and so it's much harder. But we have dog sitters. Like the same dog sitters pretty much every time, and she loves them. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, she has too much fun. She's spoiled. She is spoiled. She had a, she had a better time than we did, she probably. Did. That's her vacation away from us. Yeah, it is, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, we just came back from um, Florida. We're in Florida. Disney invited us to check out their Star Wars resort. 
which was really cool. I don't know. Yeah. Tom, let us know if you all like Star Wars in the comments. I'm curious how many Star Wars fans there are. Yeah. We like Star Wars, but I wouldn't say I'm a big fan. So I wouldn't have chosen yeah. to do this on my own. I'm a big fan, but I'm not like a Star Wars nerd. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like watching the shows and stuff, but I can't tell you the history, which some people can. Mm -hmm. And most of the people at this event could. And not only that, but they were coming in full blown outfits. They were like going full tilt. Mm -hmm. Like I, I couldn't tell who was a cast member and who was just uh, a patron. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. It yeah. was. It was pretty wild. Everyone was um, dressed up. It was a good time. We we had we have a great video that we're gonna throw together for you all. That'll come out Wednesday. Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, so y'all can see exactly what the whole experience was like. Mm -hmm. But what was not a great experience was leaving Florida. <laughs> no, which we'll tell in a second. No, I was sorry. I was looking at everyone saying they like Star Wars. So many, so many people like Star Wars. Well, of course, Star Wars is like huge. It is, and Star Wars has been. Oh, that person said I hate Star Wars. Never liked it. <laughs> sorry, don't have to apologize. That's okay. <laughs> you can hate it. Everyone gets. That's cool that some people like Star Wars. Well. We thought it was really cool. We talk a lot about it on our video on Wednesday, so be sure to check it out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really cool experience. It's super immersive, which I was really surprised by. I didn't think it would be that immersive. It's pretty incredible the lengths they went to to make you really feel like you're on a ship, a ship a in spaceship. outer space. Yeah. And like you're surrounded by cast members all the time who mm -hmm. are like engaging with you, and you can mm -hmm. talk to them, and they're always in character. And mm -hmm. It's, it's a lot. It's full blown. I mean, they went all out. Mm -hmm. So if you're into Star Wars, check it out. So many Baby Yoda fans. Baby Yoga too, apparently. Grogu. <laughs> <Except> baby Yoga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so but cool. Yeah. Anyways, we, so on the way flight home, we wanted to tell y'all a little story about our disastrous flight home yeah. yesterday. It was so bad. <laughs> so Charisma and I, we have a perfect record. Perfect record. It we, is still perfect. It by is the way. still per well. You spoiled the story. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have a perfect perfect record, which is still intact. Flying record to be flying, that's what we're talking Yeah, about. flying record. Mm -hmm. You never missed a flight. Mm -hmm. Never came that close to missing a flight mm -mm. until now. Yeah. And so until yesterday. So here's the thing. We fly a lot. We're really good at flying. Really good. We have the pre check. We know exactly how to get through the airports. We know how to navigate LAX like the back of our hand and a lot of other airports at this point, including mm -hmm. Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, so we're we're very comfortable at the airport. We know what's up. Yeah. Um, and we don't necessarily care to arrive and just sit around with two hours. I'm sorry. When I get to the airport, I want to go right to the gate and yeah. board the plane. I don't like hanging out for more than 30 minutes. Yes, <laughs> that's right. I get plane anxiety. So the more I wait... <laughs> So the the more anxious I get, and I've learned what works for me. I've gotten better. We fly so much that it's really hard to be anxious because it's mm -hmm. just. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> anyways, so with that knowledge of like, we know exactly how to get through the airport, and we scheduled our time to arrive at the airport mm -hmm. with, with just the time we needed. Like an hour. Yeah, which we thought would be Great more than time. enough. Yeah. We've never had any problem with that. Nope. Um, this morning, however, everything went wrong. So we got up, we got through our program. We had to get up at like five. Mm -hmm. It was like really early. Um, get through it. We get to our transport, which was on time. However, they hadn't tested the lift or the, mm -hmm. yeah, the lift to get into the van. Mm -hmm. Um, once they had arrived to the hotel, apparently they tested it that morning, but when they tried to bring it out, as soon as we got out there with our bags, lift wouldn't budge mm -hmm. it was stuck mm -hmm. and the driver did not know how to fix the lift mm -hmm. so we got to sit there for 30 minutes while we waited for a new a new lift. lift to come yeah so that was the first thing that went wrong yeah the second thing second thing was my fault um <laughs> the flights were booked under my married name and not my maiden name and i haven't changed my driver's license yet because we were waiting to get a house before changing it so we can have our new house's address on it yeah. And so it still says my maiden name and I checked uh, my passport by accident, which has my married last name. And I didn't realize it till we got to TSA check. Yeah. The guy wouldn't let me through. So we had to go back and just convince these people to let us through. Like I'm the same charisma. I just got married. So luckily we had pictures of our marriage license. I had my insurance card and my credit card that all had Sidner. So they were nice and let us through. But by the time we got to the gate after everything, 
we had they were calling uh, last call for our flight <laughs> so yeah. we were the very last people to board the plane which if you're a wheelchair user and you fly you know how stressful that is because usually you board first when no one is on the plane but we had to wait until everyone was on the plane so everyone's watching us transfer and it just became a whole, whole ordeal but we were just so thankful when we sat down that we made the flight because I've never missed a flight and I just don't know how that would have gone. I would have been so stressed. Yeah, I mean, it, we would have been fine. Yeah. You know, we just get another flight. It would have been no problem. But I just don't know what to do. And our, our bags would have been, I don't know, Cole. It's such, yeah, I don't know how the bags would have worked. It would have just, they would have just put it in a room if no one picked it up. Okay. We've been super late to getting our bags one time and it was in that room. Oh, I see what you're saying. it took us forever. Yeah. Um, it all would have worked out. We made it. It would have been annoying. And we just wanted to get home. Mm -hmm. You know, we just wanted to get home and see her dog and get to yeah. rest after that trip because it was it was a pretty exhausting couple of days we had. Yeah. But, um. Someone said, come to Canada. We I want we, to. I think we, we are. are. We got invited to a wedding and it's in Canada. And so I think we're going to spend a, a week or so in Vancouver. And like, because yeah. we, went to, we went to Vancouver for a night and we were sad that we didn't really get to see it but yeah there's a lot of questions cole we should go through so questions. we just get into questions yes was our flight story over they refund you if you miss your flight um so we had uh okay, insurance but i don't really know actually i've never missed a flight so i have no clue yeah let me go back because i saw so many uh, let's questions go back. people were talking about quint oh i think some Did i saw Quint say something no i some think someone asked um, if we sold our house back in Virginia and someone said they sold it to Quint. Oh, yeah. And then they said, who is Quint? <laughs> Quint's taking care of our, not our, oh. No, it's his home. His home. Yes. His home. We sold our first home to Quint, which is the best situation that could have ever happened. Yeah. Um, and we're so thankful for it and he loves that home. He does. And he, it just looks so beautiful. We did a video recently, um, showing the house and how he decorated and talking about the sale. So if you want to check it out. The sale. The sale. Mm -hmm. I, I, my country accent's coming out a little bit. <laughs> Talking about Virginia all of a sudden. You're I know. Country again. Okay. Someone asked, okay, all a right. lot of baby updates and IVF questions. <laughs> well, oh, duh. Also, what happened to that first house you liked? Oh, the first no house go. we liked. Yeah. Did not get it. Unfortunately, wow. But it was it was a little over our... What? So sad. Oh, you're sad that you're laughing. <laughs> no, I'm crying. I know. We were kind of sad about it. But honestly, it worked out. It was yeah. really expensive. It was really close to what we could afford. And we have now found more houses that are un way under our budget yeah. that are exactly what we want. And so I'm like, why would we overpay for a house that where we can find a house that's just as good in a better area? So Yeah, I think it's all going to work out. And yeah. that's something that our realtor keeps assuring us is like all roads lead to the right home. Yeah. And so... Exactly. The more we go through the process, the more we learn. So. Yeah, exactly. So someone asked, are you two okay with baby questions? Yeah, we're totally okay with baby questions. If we feel uncomfortable answering a question, we just want to answer. answer. But anyways, <laughs> update. So we've been traveling so much that we just kind of wanted to wait until we're more in settled. place and settled before yeah. like moving on with everything. So we've... We have a couple more trips in the next couple months, and then we're finally going to be settled and uh, ready to proceed with yeah. whatever choice we make. Like late spring, early summer mm -hmm. is going to be when we feel like, you know, it'll be a good time. Because right now we're just so run, run, run. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're both realizing we need to slow down a little bit and just yeah. and get into a routine again. Because we haven't been able to have a routine with all the traveling and stuff we've been doing. Mm -hmm. And it's been fun and it's been great. And part of the reason we do, we're doing this now is because we know that once we have a kid, everything, or baby, sorry, I always say kid, I don't know why, once we have a baby, things will slow down. And that's what we want, however, you know, let's get the traveling while we can and while we can run and gun and all that stuff. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, once we have a baby, things are just going to slow down. And we have all these travel opportunities that are happening for us that we want to take advantage of, and they're really great opportunities. And so while we can, we just want to do it. Right. And we're still young. Everyone loves to remind us of that, we're and I know young. we're young, but I'm going to be 29. I, I just feel like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> all right, next question. You went all the way to the bottom. I know. A lot of them were the same. Do you have any advice for promoting a children's book about disabilities? Promoting? Oh. 
Um, uh, I don't know anything about promoting books. I, yeah, I don't either, honestly. Social media is always a good platform, though. It's always right. a good outlet just to I'm, use social media. I'm sure that there are organizations that would love to promote a, a, a book about disabilities, especially for children. Yeah. United Spinal. Well, I don't know what kind of disabilities got in there, but um, find an organization with that supports those communities and reach out to them about promotion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'd be the best bet. Can you look at some questions you want to answer? Yeah, what game console do you have, Cole? Oh, I'm rocking the Xbox, of course. <laughs> uh, I have to because the Microsoft Adaptive Controller that I use I don't think I can use on PlayStation. a PlayStation. Yeah, but you've always been Team Xbox anyway, so. That is true. <laughs> always had an Xbox. Yeah. A thousand um, people. Whoa. That's, that's a lot. Wild. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you, everyone. That's really Just cool. Just hanging out. <laughs> um, yeah, I love Xbox. In fact, I think we're going to be playing some games today. Oh, I was going to suggest going to Dintai Fung after this for dinner. Are you serious? Yeah. I know. You, you just got so happy, didn't you? Yes! I <laughs> and, love that place. And then we can we can play Xbox after. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm so happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants to know, do you miss winter weather? You can't ask me questions. I'm thinking about Dintai Fung. No, focus. <laughs> um, we do not miss winter. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we're not, Bye. we're not cold people. But the good thing about being in California, we can drive in the winter season, we could drive two hours to get to like Big Bear and yeah they have snow there and so if we miss winter we could just drive to it i know it's really it's ideal nice. and we've been able to get our winter fix because i mean we do the skiing at mammoth mm -hmm. but then we go to big bear and just like get a getaway cabin and we experience the cold mm -hmm. and we have a little bonfire out in the freezingness mm -hmm. um and I, I prefer that especially as someone who suffers from seasonal depression um yeah being here has helped me with that a great deal mm -hmm. yeah same. It's the vitamin D. We uh, constantly have sun. And it's really, it helps boost your mood. I love that. I saw that? a question that it went away. Can what? you share about your secret project? You would ask that question, Cole. <laughs> you really would ask that question. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know, y'all. It's just a slow moving thing. It's still happening. It's just really slow. And I think once you guys find out what it is, I think people understand why it was such a process and why I wanted to keep it on the DL. But it's moving along. I think within the next, I feel like I said within like early next year, maybe in April or March, we'll hear back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's going though. I promise you it's going. A lot of work. Yeah, it, it is. A lot. Working hard. It is a lot of work. <laughs> How old is Sophie? Oh man, these questions just jump in. So now I'm confused where I was, but Sophie is four. She'll be four in April. Yeah, she's, uh, she's growing she up. It's actually kind of wild. It makes me sad. I think about, um, Think about it, I might cry. <laughs> so Cole, I'm so you Sophie. Yeah. Think about. Don't think about it. Anyway, she's four, <laughs> and we're gonna have her forever. So. <laughs> she's gonna live forever. Yeah, yes. she's gonna live forever. One of the questions was, do you think we'll ever move back to Virginia? No, I don't think we've talked about this. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think we'll move back to Virginia. I'm not sure we'll move live in California forever. But I don't think we'll go all the way back to the East Coast. We definitely like the West Coast. And I could see us, well, actually, I could see us probably going down to South, San Diego. Like living down there? Yeah. Or I could see us living in Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, but Nevada or Arizona. Well, if it's Nevada, it'll probably be Vegas. It would probably be Vegas. I could see that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. I don't, I, I really like the warmth and the weather. Mm -hmm. That really makes a difference for me. The food out here is great. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really see it happening. It's a, it's a, it's a hard question. Um, yeah, ideally we could have a place on both coasts where we could stay. Ideally, that would but be nice. I don't know how reasonable that is. And just like, just keeping up with the house. Cause that's what we tried to do with the Virginia house. But it was so much to, our dads were just constantly doing stuff for us. And I just felt bad asking them, mm -hmm. even though we know they would do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cole, how's your acting going? Uh, Personally, I think it's going pretty well. Um, this is a very slow time of year. So January, February, um, like once spring rolls around, that's when production starts picking up again. Um, mm -hmm. The beginning of the year is just always very dead for actors and for productions. Yes. Um, so I haven't had like a lot of auditions recently. However, I had like, we just posted that video. I had the short film that I, 
I did with James and Charisma, yes. who played Carissa. Yes. You did so good. Thanks. That was a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah. I, I mean, it was late. It was, yeah. I was talking about acting with you was oh. fun. Staying mm -hmm. up till 5 a.m. or whatever was less fun to me. Mm -hmm. But a great experience for sure. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to get that reel because um, that was a very high quality production. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's going to be great. And that's going to help me in my future auditions because mm -hmm. people will see. Because like, this was the issue that I was having is like I was getting callbacks and a lot of people were loving my auditions. Mm -hmm. But I have no on-set experience other than these two short films I did, which I haven't even gotten footage from that I can show them that I can do a good job. Mm -hmm. So they haven't seen me on camera and they don't know that I can do it. Um, and that means a lot to That means a lot. Because when you're putting a lot of money into productions, you don't want someone to come on set that you're having to like hold their hand and walk them through the process. And exactly. You just can't rely on them to do a good job. Yeah. Um, so I need those reels and that will allow me to uh, have a much stronger case um, yeah, and I think I, I think I can get some jobs once, once I get those. Things. I think so too. I really do. I think this is going to be a good year for that. Yeah. One thing we are doing though is working with our former manager. If you've been around for a while, you probably heard Elizabeth's name. We're working with the Yin mm, Twins. The Yin Twins on a production that she wrote yeah. or they wrote, and I'm really excited for that too because I think it's an awesome story, mm -hmm. super well written, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're working to get that done too. So that'll be a third short film. And then we're working on a fourth short film, which is very early on. So I won't say anything else about that one. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it's, it's, coming it's, along. it's coming along. It's coming yeah. along. It's a tough industry to break into, but progress is being made. So it's not like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just sitting around nothing's happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any family living in California? No. Well, quasi uncle. No, no cousin. 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 Yeah. Quasi cousin. Um, yeah. But that's it. Uh, maybe someone will move out here eventually. That'd be nice. Someone asked how we met Shane and Hannah and if we were friends before YouTube. We met them four years ago. Yeah. Or five. Four years ago. Uh, when they had one of their nonprofits. So it was a long time ago. And then we just like, we talked to each other every once in a while, but we didn't have like a great friendship or e even if, like, I wouldn't really know. I don't know if we had like a solid friendship then for We're a couple like of years. We just kind of knew each other. Acquaintances in the industry, you know? Mm hmm And then we started last year, they came to California and we went to Universal together and then they came back again and then we went to Disney together. And I think that's when we started to become closer. And then Hannah and I started playing Mario Kart together yeah. at night we, the game all the time the cole would be in acting class and mm -hmm. i'd always be alone so we would um play mario kart together for hours um and then that's kind of how we started our friendship and then i brought up the idea of going on a cruise and they were down so we went on our first cruise together so we've just gotten really close over the years and i think our lives are very similar we're doing a lot of the same things at the same time and so I think that, and we we have the same career, and so we have so much similarities that a friendship makes sense, and it yeah. makes sense why we're close, and we just connect on so many different levels. Um, so it's a it's a friendship, it's a good friendship, and I'm really appreciative of our friendship. I like talk to, we talk to each other about Hannah and I are super super close, and we talk mm -hmm. to each other about everything. So it's nice to have that friendship. Yeah, I think we understand each other in a way that a lot of people wouldn't be able to. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Is, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be in LA more. I know, yeah. They, they like it over here. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you want to go back to Virginia? Um, I wouldn't say it's that we don't want to go back to Virginia. It's just we just don't see ourselves there anymore. If, it, if we didn't have family in Virginia, there would be no pull to go back to Virginia. Exactly. Family is the strongest pull. Exactly. And we, f we feel that we can see our family in different ways. Exactly. We that just, was a good way to say it. Yeah, we talked to my parents for 40 minutes today. Yeah, we literally, we had to get off the phone with Cole's parents because we had to come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are the, your parents, how's the rest of the fam? Everyone is great. Uh, we just talked to Cole's parents not too long ago. They're doing well. My parents are doing well. Um, my brothers are doing well. Quint's doing well. They're all really good. Family's good right now. Yeah. Yeah. My dad just got a new job. <laughs> cool, you don't know if your dad wants you to tell everyone that. Well, that's true. <laughs> Once I find out if he wants to share, I'll share with him. Um, we have a big family vacation with my family coming up, which we're really pumped about. 
Yeah, I can't wait for that. That's going to yeah. be a blast. We haven't taken a family vacation mm-hmm. since I was, I don't know, 15, 12, 14, a teenager. Yeah. And so this is the first family vacation we're taking with my family in a long time. So I'm really pumped about that. I saw a good question. What? Um, do I ever get tired of the questions people ask me? Um, about your disability? Yeah. Do you? I would say yes and no. Uh, I say yes because, like, I want people to see me first and, like, want to know me as a person first Mm -hmm. rather than my disability. But I also say no because I am okay with, like, educating people in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and even when I'm telling them, you know, about my disability, doing it in a manner that shows them that I'm very happy. And then I'm not, I'm not sad and I don't need your pity. Yeah. Um, so, yes and no for that reason. I think what bothers me more aren't necessarily like the questions about my disability. Um, more so just the way people treat me because of my disability. And this happened once. An example of this happened at Star Wars. Remember? Mm-mm. So we were at dinner. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> we're at dinner. And during dinner, there's like a live performance, there's a lot going on, mm-hmm. and at the end of the, the dinner, there's a, like a, a group, like everybody, they're encouraging everybody to get up and dance. Mm-hmm. And I can dance, you know, I can, get a, I can do a little bit, mm-hmm. um, but I was still eating. Anyway, our waitress comes over, and while, while they're saying, everybody get up, let's, let's dance, get ready, she comes over and she says, you can clap. <laughs> We were so shocked by this comment. I don't think it registered until she walked away. And I was like, Cole, did you just hear what she said? And I think in her mind, I think she thought she was being so kind to acknowledge you and to say, you can join in too. But sometimes in that moment, it's better to just not do, like not to point (laughs) out Cole or someone with a disability. Just like if you're telling everyone come dance, just tell everyone to come dance. You don't have to, like, point Cole out because he's in a wheelchair. And I think that was just, it was just awkward. I know. Oh, okay. You could, because you can dance. Yeah. I I can dance. That's fine. And the way she said it was actually, like, uh, how how did she say it? It was like, you can dance. No, you (laughs) can clap. You can clap. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. You can can clap. Do you see your mom's comment? Oh, all right. We we can talk (laughs) about dad's job. (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, mom, for the permission. So, dad... Is a he's a bus driver, so he's he's working Baby. to take the kids to school, make sure they get educated, and yeah. um, <laughs> get all the smarts. And I he's, think he's so a, excited about it. I think he likes driving big vehicles, so yeah. he had to like learn how to parallel park a, a big school bus and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's excited about it. I'm Pretty excited cool. for them. He th- it's retired life. He's just always finding something to do, and I, I think he's really enjoying it. What do you want? What do you want? Um, sorry, do you see anything? You can dance, Cole. I saw your short. Oh, the cuff it. Yes, Cole can dance. 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 <laughs> um, Cole, do you feel happier you made the decision to move to California? Do I feel happier? Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm, I love it here um, for lots of reasons. Mm-hmm. Lots of, I mean, we talked about it, the weather, the food, the opportunity. The energy. Yeah. We meet people in our industry, which yeah. makes a big difference, too. It's so tricky, though, when you tell people you live in California, or especially L.A., there's so many comments about living here. And so sometimes it's just, like, a conversation we just don't like to bring up with people because they always have a comment about California. Yeah. But I think there's so many things. There's so many reasons people are here, and we are part of those people who just... We're the two people who have, you know, really good reasonings. But, like, of course, it's expensive. The homeless problem is really sad and is really bad. Um, the earthquakes don't really bother us. People always mention earthquakes, and we literally slept through the one a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah. And so we just, I don't know. We love it at the end of the day, and I think that's what matters most. There's very little downside for us. Yeah. If there was downside, we wouldn't be looking for a house. Exactly. Yeah. Someone asked how you floss. I think that's a good question. How I floss? Like yeah. The- how you floss your teeth? Like your dance? <laughs> no, how you floss your teeth? <laughs> I use a water pick. Mm-hmm. So in the shower, I use a thing that like blasts water in between my teeth. Mm-hmm. I just hold it and I just. Uh, uh, 
Yeah. And he does it in the shower. He does it. So Cole does his showers every other day. We mentioned that. And mm-hmm. so he does it every other day. But for Christmas, I got him a really good toothbrush that is really good. So, oh my gosh, everyone's saying hi to Mama Kelly. Kelly, Kelly Sidner. Mama. She has a channel. Everybody go check out Kelly Sidner. Yeah, you should go YouTube live channel. one day, Kelly Mama. Wait, we can collaborate with her. Can we do a live? We can do a live her? together. Mom, if you get on your channel, we might be able to like invite you or something. Well, not this one because we don't know how yet. Right, but we maybe, should figure it out. All right, future one. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, but we should do it together. That'd that's be a, cool. That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, mom does DIY videos. She, uh, she can take on any project. So go check out her stuff. Yeah. Do we go find LA more expensive? Yes. Um, is the grass green? Is the sky blue? <laughs> <laughs> yes, LA is very expensive. That is yeah. a very true assumption. Um, but we try to like cook a lot and not eat out too much. We have well, our days. That's a good question though. How are your allergies out here? Me? Yeah. I think they're fine. I think really? Because you just told me. That's I'm because. Like, bugger in my nose. My nose is running. That's because we came from Florida to California. Yeah. It was really bad in Florida, but in California, it's good. Uh, charisma right. looks like Megan a lot. Like Who's Megan? Megan Markle. Megan Markle? Oh, that's interesting. I've never sure, gotten that before. That. I've gotten sure. Zoe Saldana, but not Me- Megan Markle. Kelly Mama is up for a collab. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kelly Mama is ready. Cool. <laughs> Um, how easy is it to get parts for my chair? Oops, oh, this one's a good one, too. Uh, parts for my chair? I don't know yet. And I, I need to figure that out because, I don't know, you've probably seen it in the videos, but the sides of my armrests are, like, deteriorating. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I think you're hitting the walls and it's just, like, chipping at it or something. Well, it shouldn't be made that way, then. I know. Because I'm not going to be able to not hit things. I know. You just hit me? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> so I'm not going to hit you. As soon as you said it, hit well, you karate chop my neck. This is a good one yeah. for you. Uh, the driving question? Mm-hmm. So, we do have a, so. a bit of an update on that front. Um, with our house search, we feel that we're coming close. We're, we're dialing in on a uh, home. She's, <laughs> she's, she's so great. Hi, Sophie. Can I have a kiss? No. Give me a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> Nose kiss. Um, so... Once we get a home, and we're shooting for like a more suburban area, because no, a suburban area. It is not. More, it is a suburban. Su- <laughs> a suburban area is where we want to be. Yeah. Um. So the rollability isn't be, isn't be, won't be like what it is here. Um. So I'm gonna have to get back to driving, and we're yes. getting closer. So that is very much on my mind right now. Is um is how to get set up so that I'm I'm driving soon. Yes. Because I will need to be driving. Yes. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready to get back yes, to it. Yes, yes, yes. So Cole's going to be driving again, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about a thing. Sorry. Do you see any questions? Um, oh, everyone's saying hi to Sophie. Sophie's the best. Do you see any movie star besides yourselves? <laughs> we're, we're not movie stars yet. <laughs> um, we do see some people. So, oh, thank God. We do see some people. Um. Like, no, We've seen a couple people, but not really, actually. I, w- I was surprised. I thought we'd see more famous people, but I feel don't. like what happens more often are seeing is like seeing people that we recognize, but we don't know exactly who they are. Yeah. I, think like, I t- know that I've seen them from something. Yeah. <laughs> I, there's a ton of famous people I think we pass all the time. We just don't re- realize. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people say I don't look like Megan Markle. See, people see Zoe Saldana. Who's better at Ooh. trivia? I definitely am. Depends on the trivia. If it's music it's trivia, close. if it's music trivia, what? me. I know more range. I know I have a wider knowledge when it comes to music. <laughs> it's true. I don't. Okay. Why we'll did you have it. to stop driving? I didn't necessarily have to stop driving. We just ended up living in a place where I don't really need to drive. I can roll everywhere I need to go, and it's not like we drive a lot. Yeah, I, where we live is very rollable, so we don't really have to drive. That's kind of what it is. Um, dad, dad wants to know what the plaque is behind my head. That's your dad? My, that's my University of Richmond degree. Oh, your mom coming. Yeah. Yeah, Cole has his degree on the wall, but I don't. I'm, oh, wait, the lower one. What's the lower oh, one? Oh, it's the Shining Knight placard. Oh, that's the uh, the Cole Sidner Trauma Survivor Giving Back Award placard. Yeah, from which is the longest name for an award ever. It is a but really at, long. At VCU in Virginia, they have a Trauma Survivor Giving Back Award. So if you suffered from trauma, 
and you went through their their level one trauma center if you went through their center and then you do, you're doing something to give back to the community they give you the Cole Sidner award it's really cool Christian when was the last time you saw Cole cry was it um like last like week 30 seconds ago 30 seconds ago I kept crying at Disney just to show people I could fake cry. You did, and you can he can cry like that. It's so wild. No, I think last time you actually cried. I think I'm just emotional. It died. Oh, it ran out of battery. It's okay. I'm sure. Here, it's let's fun. let's watch the replay. Oh, this is gonna take so let's long. See. It's coming up. I'm gonna keep looking at questions while you look at it. Um, but that's gonna take so long. I, I think know. someone keeps asking the same question over and over. Hold on. Wait, someone keeps asking about TV shows. Okay. Babe, I don't oh, I saw it. <laughs> why do you think that people are so interested in your story, and why do you feel that it's important to share your lives online? Wow, that's that a, is a good question. A good I question. I kept seeing it come up. Hey, good that's job a, on reposting a, that question because yeah, it got my you. attention. <laughs> that's a really good. question. It's a good question. So I think people are Two-parter. interested. I'll go first on this part, and then you say what you think. Mm-hmm. I think people are interested um, because our relationship is so unique. I think there's the interracial aspect and then there's the interabled aspect. So I think people are just interested in the dynamic of our relationship mostly. And then Cole's disability. I think people are really interested in learning more about Cole's disability. Yeah. I would, I would agree with those things. I think people have, I think people have a lot of conceptions about disability and living with a disability. Mm -hmm. And we're at, in, a, in an age where people are trying to understand others' perspectives more mm-hmm. on, across the board. Mm-hmm. Um, and with social media, they have this perfect medium to explore other people's worlds and see what they're really like rather than just going off of your conceptions of what they're like. You can go on and learn yeah. exactly about what someone's life is like with X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. And so we get to show people what it's like to be a quadriplegic. And not just a quadriplegic, but I would argue a quadriplegic that has a very active and full and life and who's doing their best to thrive in this world. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think that it people find that interesting because they have the conceptions and they see someone who's not exactly filling those conceptions how like or those expectations in the way they're they're doing doing something different. Um, mm-hmm. What was the second part of the question? Um, and why do we feel it's necessary to share our story? I think. Oh, like well. That. For for exactly that reason, because I don't want to go out and about and have people's conceptions rule their perspective of me. Mm-hmm. I want people to um, people to see and be exposed to people. Oh I my know. gosh! What in the world? Wait, what is NOK? I don't know. Wow. Well, thank you, Aaron. Thank you. That was big. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, was... <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I, I want people to uh, out, be out and about and see people with disabilities and not just like immediately pity them and like have all these conceptions of them. I want them to be like, oh my gosh, that, I don't want them to have any like special idea. I just want them to look at them like they would look at anybody else. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So I think that's why it's necessary. Mm-hmm. I agree. I think that was good reasoning. And I just, I don't know, I think just to normalize our kind of relationship too. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's just a big thing. And I was going to say from your point, people like assume things about Cole. At the other day at the airport, when I couldn't get through TSA, I was just going to send Cole by himself. And the guy literally looked at me and said, no, he can't go by himself because he needs someone to push him. And I looked at the TSA agent and I said, that's, well, that's not true. He can push himself. He's pushing himself right now. And they, he like literally would not let Cole be by himself because Cole independent, couldn't independently go through the TSA line, according to him. But Cole eventually did go yeah. through by yeah. himself, and I went somewhere completely different, and we had to separate. Yeah, I did. But it was that was a really frustrating assumption. Um, man, I'm so... Yeah. Thank you, Nicole. I I mean, Aaron, not Aaron, not Nicole. Aaron, that was so sweet. I was, like, very, so shocked seeing sweet. it. Thank <laughs> you. Um, okay, sorry. I, saw, I can make people moderators. I just noticed that, y'all. How mm. often do you see Shane and Hannah? Now that they're in L.A., we see them... Good amount. Yeah. Actually. Have we rented a track chair or beach wheelchair since we've been in LA? No. No, But we did discover at the Santa Monica Pier, there's a, um, Mm. oh, what's the name of the program? I don't know what it's called. I don't know. But it's right, like right under the, before you go up the bridge, it's right under there where their aquarium is. 
and you can rent a beach yeah wheelchair for free for free it's no charge at all oh thank you stacy thank you stacy guys you do not have to send us anything i really appreciate it but you do not have to thank you it means a lot but it thank does you. yeah um but that program it's out of the aquarium right at santa monica pier and you can get a free wheelchair. So I think we will do that one day. Maybe yes. Wendy once it's warmer. Oh, and show, show how that process is. That'd be a cool yeah. video. I've we been, should do that. I've been thinking about that. We should do that for sure. The only unfortunate thing, it's not motorized. So Cole has to be pushed. So it might be helpful to have someone else so we can film it too. Yeah. Yeah. We'll need a friend. Are you doing physical therapy still, Cole? I can moderate if you need someone help. Sure. Where'd that comment go? Where, did, where do you see that? And how do we make someone a moderator? I saw it. I saw how to do it. Where'd it go? Oh, it disappeared. Oh, oh it's okay. the Norwegian. Oh my gosh, friend. Joellen and oh my gosh, guys, yeah. thank you. Y'all are so kind. Where do you see the moderator? Babe, I. I oh, here it is. I'm, I'm I'll let her moderate. I don't know who you are. But I, <laughs> I saw. Add as managing moderator. Okay. There oh, you you're, go. You're now a moderator, <laughs> unhushable. You're gonna be hushing everyone else. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you for doing that. I'm sure there are some comments. Brandy Smith, I'll let you moderate too if you want. But I'm sure there's some comments. Honestly, we're just ignoring them. I, I really haven't even seen anything. Brandy Smith, now a moderator. All right. Wow. Are you doing physical therapy? Um, so physical therapy, it's primarily just like at home. Mm -hmm. um, at home workouts right now. Like I don't go into a place. And I think that that is just what works best for our our lifestyle mm -hmm. with uh, our schedule and stuff and working from home and also because I'm not driving right now that means that charisma would have to drive me wherever and that it was just it would just add a lot to our plate when we have mm -hmm. a perfectly good space and a perfectly good regimen at home mm -hmm. to do what we need to do yeah so I help Cole you, you can do a lot of them by yourself though mm -hmm. I just put the weights on your hands yeah she'll like change the weights out and stuff thank you Danielle uh, thank you Danielle appreciate so it acupuncture I, oh, can help with paralysis, muscle spasms, and stress. I, and fertility, actually. Oh, and I asked Cole up. if he would be interested, but you said no. You didn't want to do acupuncture. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like needles. Mm -hmm. I don't like getting poked. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um, I would is, do it. What is this one? Hello, Paul Charisma. Besides the Sorry. acting and other special projects, are you still doing engagements on disability, lifestyle, and accessibility? Yes. For sure. We had a speaking engagement in New York that's supposed to be in two weeks, and they had to reschedule it. And it's yeah. a speaking engagement about disability. So we do, we still do a lot of speaking engagements. Yeah, we have one coming up in New York, actually. That's what I was just saying. Oh, you just said that? Sorry, I zoned out for a second. I, I saw another question I was thinking about. <laughs> no, but it got postponed. But yes, we're doing a speaking engagement in New York soon. Which question? Um, do I have a favorite restaurant in, out here in LA? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's yeah, we're going there tonight. Dentai Fung, baby. Dentai Fung. Any fun stories from your cruise with Shane and Hannah? Fun stories. Did we just like have a fun time together? I don't know. Like the whole time was just fun. Yeah. We were just cracking up, especially when we were playing the heads up game. We only showed oh. you a portion of that game, but we were in tears. Oh, we were like crying. Yeah. In tears. So there was fun. this this one category where you have to like make the sound of an animal and Shane just couldn't <laughs> make the sound. Well, it's kind of hard. Because it was random animals. It, like, would, it would be like an ant. Like yeah. how do you make an ant and sound? And Shane's like, what the heck? And so we're like, Hannah and I are in tears because we're like, how is Shane supposed to make this sound? And the first sound he decides to make was a spider. All right, wait, let's give him a second to guess what they think a spider sounds like. <laughs> and then, all right, go ahead. And then Shane goes, <laughs> lost it it was shane is the like so funny he is hilarious i, I think he's even more like he's even funnier in person i don't know it's just great five dollars oh thank, thank you thank you wow oh, i don't know how to pronounce your your name there but from dallas thank you we love dallas oh carol wants to be a moderator also where do you see that okay right there all right this is the last moderator <laughs> I don't yeah. see everyone. We're going to make everyone. I don't know if it right. actually works, so hopefully it worked for you guys. Oh, it gives. See, Unhushable, now they have like a little uh, wrench by their name. Go up a little bit. Yeah, where? Scroll, you see? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. All right. <laughs> that's so cool. Um, um, wait, I saw one. Advice? Shane is hilarious. He is. He's so funny. Sorry, Shane ahead. is so funny. <laughs> um, so, advice for a physical therapy assistant. You were in tech. What do you think? Oh, um, just general advice? 
Yeah, they just ask for like general advice. Just be as helpful as you can. I think it's really, texts are very needed. Texts do so much um, in the physical therapy space. And, well, physical therapy assistant? Not yeah. tech. Oh, sorry. A not PTA. Not but a tech. A, PT, a tech is closed. Yeah. Though. So I would say the same thing for a physical therapist, though. Mm -hmm. Just listen to your patients. Um, I think patients really like to be heard. Um, and I feel like this question is better for you, Cole. I'm not a PT. <laughs> you had PTs. Why am I answering this question? You answer. <laughs> well, I, I would say my biggest thing with PTs or, like, the techs working with them is um, I, I couldn't stand it when people were so, like, ginger with me. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the sense that, like, someone would come in and, like, they would, like, be so gentle with my legs and, like, kind of just, like, slowly move me around. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not fragile. I'm a big man. You know, mm -hmm. get in here. Let's get this done. Let's yeah. work. Like, hands on. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, but I think it'd be important to ask your client what their pain level is because some people will. True. Yeah. That's true. That's yeah, specific for you. So just communicate with your patient and then, like, don't be afraid to get in there, you know. Yeah. That's what I'd say. <laughs> Terrell Dixon said, say my name, say my name. <laughs> Why? <What? laughs> okay. He was singing the Beyonce song? Oh, <laughs> say my name. Or maybe he just wanted me to say his name. Well, I definitely right, Cassio has asked this question a bunch. Where? Well, we post about any of the negative or frustrating things about having a disability, um, not just all positive stuff. I, I, feel I kind of like, feel like we share a lot of those experiences. Yeah, I feel like we share those experiences. You share those experiences within videos. Like there isn't a specific video talking about it, but you share them within different videos. Is yeah, that I think sense? so. I think we kind of sprinkle these experiences in because we definitely have negative experiences. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. um, thank uh, you, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. That's very kind. <laughs> um, also, like talking about you know how it felt. Like, right after my injury and stuff. Like, that's not positive stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But we, we tried. Yeah, like, that other video about you not wanting to live after your injury. We That was, like, a recent video that we did. Yeah. Um, and so I think we yeah, I think we talk about it. We try to. Yeah. Because it's not all positive. Yeah. And to say that would be an illusion. Or a, de, a delusion. Illusion. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. Um, Sorry, you guys are like, you moderators are really killing it. Yeah, I, we can see was, when you like hush someone. This was a great idea. And when you delete comments, I can, wow, you guys are killing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Good job. Yeah, seriously, thank you. Um, Maybe a couple more questions? Yeah, someone oh, asked wow. something a second ago. Oh what was God. it? I oh forgot. God. Oh my gosh. Sorry, babe. No, it's all good. Oh, um, how do we feel about our parents moving here? We're slowly trying to convince them. I would love it. They can move out here. I don't think they will, but... Mom, you can jump into the chat and explain why. Yeah, you, Kelly, you Mama. absolutely refuse to move out here despite us asking over and over again. <laughs> Honestly, if anyone's parents... I think I could see my parents coming a little closer. Mm -hmm. But you, your parents have a lot of connections to Virginia. I think it would be really, really... I think my parents do too, but I think it'd be hard. And your grandma... Yeah still there it would be hard there's a yeah. lot going on there's a lot of roots that's where their friends are yeah they have homes there so that's be like you know upending their whole world plus my dad just got the bus driving job and so. yeah <laughs> can't just leave already <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right one more question maybe yeah you see something good oh man um oh do you want to see this one that one seems good stone as a graduating educator what advice would give a teacher on would you give a teacher on how to make an inclusive and accessible classroom for all students regardless of ability that's a good question that's a great question um i think at the core of that question is your willingness to work with individual students on their needs mm -hmm. um this was my experience in college i thought that i had the smoothest time with the professors who were willing to meet with me and get a clear idea of what I needed and were okay with making that happen. Um, for example, I had teachers who were more than happy to send every assignment to me digitally mm -hmm. and get that back. Mm -hmm. That, On the other hand, I had professors who were very upset that I couldn't use a pen. Really? Well, I take that back. Couldn't use a pencil. Really? Like, I had a math teacher, and in math it's like a big deal that you don't use a pen because you're often erasing things mm -hmm. and it'll look really messy and gross mm -hmm. and I asked this teacher I was like hey look I'm able to use a pen but it's not going to be pretty but I can't use a pencil because I can't push down hard enough 
And they were like, okay, that's fine. And then I got back a test and it was written on there, don't use a pen, <laughs> use a pencil. Oh it, my gosh. It's, it needs to be neater. I was like, we hey, had this conversation. Are you serious? That's Not only do we have this conversation, but I, I can't. What do you expect me to do? Yeah. I can't do all these calculations on a computer either. Well, it would be nice and neat for you and I can hit backspace. So that annoyed me. Yeah. But. So I guess being accommodating and asking, you know, is there anything that you could do? Yeah. I know in my experience, and I think it goes pretty generally for disabilities, having things digitally makes life a lot easier. Um, I think we're leaning more towards that, just with probably. technology in general now, yeah, than probably. when we were in school, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't that long ago, but I think we're things making, changing. things are changing. Thank you, Mandy. I think the moderators are doing an awesome job as Yay. well. Oh, wow. There's someone else that came up. And... SPL Chicago. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Speech language. Is that what that means? Speech. Are you a speech no. pathologist? No? Okay. Never Wouldn't mind. Wouldn't that be... SLP. SLP. Yep, it's SLP. All right. Well, I think that we are going to head out and get some dinner. Yes. So thank you for tuning in. Everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Let us know in the comments if you think we should do more lives. I actually like doing lives. You, these, this was fun. I miss doing it. I was hesitant, y'all. <laughs> it's been two years. I know. We haven't done it in two years. Yeah, it was fun. But this was fun. Yeah. We'll do another live. You guys have so many questions, and I know we don't, it's hard to get to everything. Mm -hmm. But we'll do another live soon. Just let us know. We're curious. Yes. All right. All right, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Wait, wait, before we check off. Sophie. Oh, Sophie, you want to say bye? Oh, she's so sleepy. Come she's here. She's sleeping. Sophie, are you, are you asleep? I know. Or Dad you woke you up, didn't you he? That's right. How rude. How rude, Dad, Dad. Okay. Can you say can you say the closer? Can you close it out? Ready? Gotta look at the camera. Look over there. I think Don't forget to there. like, comment, share, subscribe. And, and stay, stay positive. positive. Good girl. <laughs> oh thank you, Paige. Good job. Charisma, you remind me of Zoe Saldana from Avatar. Me too. I get that a lot. It's like one of my first crushes and now I'm <laughs> married to her. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. Don't belch, Cole. We didn't finish yet. Whoops. <laughs> You're getting close.